Joining me now on your sport Swindon is Mark Draycott. Mark, we're at one of your um, half-term camps today and there's a lot of fun going on, a lot, a lot of games, the, the usual stuff that you do, but there's also a serious side today where you've actually been educating the kids a little bit more um, in terms of health and, and safety and particularly CPR and stuff like that. So tell us what's, what's going on today. Yeah, it's a really proud day for us. Um, DSC Safe is our new initiative that we're, we're launching. Um, it's basically been inspired by a, a paediatric course uh, some of our staff um, have done recently and I think that the obvious uh, thing for me that I took away was you know, why couldn't our kids get involved with this, why can't the kids soak up the same knowledge that we get, some of them do it at a better level, you know, they're sponges at this age, um, today's proved that, it's been, you know, it's, it's evident that they can take this, this information on board uh, and use it in a fun environment, it's a very serious message. Um, but they've had fun doing it as well, so um, we're, delighted. we're delighted with how it's gone. You know, we've had 200 children here today who, have all, who will all take away a certificate and have had some really, really good training, uh, really important training as well that they can take. Um, we want to do it again, we want to kind of carry this on through their, their primary journey, uh, even through their secondary. Um, so, you know, the, the long term goal is that, you know, hopefully no one is put in these situations, but you know, down the line in the next 10, 15 years if they are, they're, they're well equipped to deal with it um, because of initiative like this. Um, and we want to spread this message far and wide in all schools, um, childcare groups, any, anyone where there's a, where there's, there's children who are, who are up for learning and taking on this, this message that I think is, is so, so important. You mentioned that the kids they are quite young that are learning this and obviously they are sponges at, yep, at this age. They, they tend to copy everything that we do as, yep. as parents and, and things like that. Just, just how young are they today yep, and so how well has it been received? So we've um, obviously you just witnessed our, our younger boys. So those come in from age three to six. Um, so you think maybe three-year-olds, how are they going to take in the information? We've tried to, I've tried to design a, a lesson plan uh, along with John, our, our tutor, where they can take in their, their, their short messages and their clear messages, and a lot of it is the practical work, which is the most important. They, they want to see it, they want to take it in, and they want to then uh, copy what we're doing. Um, yeah, and, and the message has been greatly received. They've, you know, I think even I, I've got two sons myself who are six and seven, and they they're already saying can we practice this at home can we do this and do the, the recovery position for example uh, even with the choking things but yes yes they're serious but you can have fun learn learning the right things to do in these situations um, and we try to make it active as well it's been hard working now and <laughs> trying to uh, try to almost coach it all morning it's, it's it's a workout as well so they've really enjoyed it is it is it something new that you've learned along with your, your fellow fellow coaches Absolutely. and staff in there we've um We've learned so much. Obviously, the paediatric course was quite intense, but I think in this environment, I, I would say I probably learned more. Yet, working alongside John uh, and teaching it continuously, um, and I feel really confident. Obviously, we're, we're never prepared for, for any of these situations, um, you know, mentally. But I think to, to have that knowledge and to know what to be able to do is a great feeling. It's a great feeling, particularly in my position where you know you're constantly you know surrounded by. Uh, you know, sport and environment, which you'd have to say is medium to high risk anyway. Um, so to have that knowledge that I've got now um, is, is a good feeling. I feel it kind of makes me feel safer knowing that the children are, are in good hands, um, and particularly with staff. You know, I'll be getting all, all my staff uh, and coaches on, on their on their level three paediatric as soon as possible, uh, along with the few that we already have done. So yeah, I mean, you never know when you know you might need something like this. And I've just briefly seen what what you've been doing with each of the, the stations you've got there. Talk us through each one if you can, and yeah, a step by absolutely. a simple step by step, so that if any other anyone yeah. who's watching needs it. So everything that we do uh, at Draycott Sports Camp and Draycott Football Academy, we we want it to be active. We want it to be all action. Um, this 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 was something that took a bit more time planning because there is some listening involved, and, and we try to limit that, but and obviously get the the key points in. But the, the main focuses this morning have been. Um, obviously the recovery position, um, taking us through that. CPR, which has been something they've really enjoyed. Um, and it's been great to see. Great to see working on each other, their partners, and some great teamwork as well, which they, they, they would need in that situation. Uh, we've given. Um, some role play with, uh, with the 999, 112, um, learning which number to call. Um, and again, that, that's more teamwork. Uh, and the, the choking, um, obviously it's a, it's a situation that can be quite common in any house with young children in, um, 
we, we've all had it with our children of, of course something so I think for, for a sibling to, to gain that, that knowledge is is great as well um, but they're, they're the, the four points and obviously our fifth almost station is an active station where the children are keeping their heart rate up um, and we're, we're obviously getting some, some fitness out of the session as well. Yeah sure and you mentioned that this is a, an initiative that you want to push not just here but across the schools yeah. and other places like that how will you do that what was the plan? I think obviously we've working in a, a Oakhurst um, in, a, in this environment as a school which is obviously the day job um, I've already uh, discussed this with our with our head teacher and she's been more than happy to, to oblige in getting this initiative into our school so our, our year sixes uh, and certainly our year ones will receive this in the coming weeks um, and then we, we obviously have a, an annual sports week at our school uh, the penultimate week of term where I'd like to then um, do this or we could get every Oakhurst child um, exposed to this information. Um, I, we will achieve that. I think this school is fantastic at backing everything um, that we're about and that we do. Uh, health, fitness, um, being active and having fun is, is us in a nutshell. And I think having a school um, like Oakhurst and, and the staff they have here to back the message, uh, it's always been quite easy. They've always really looked at what we've done and said yes to it uh, and seen the benefits for not just Oakhurst but the community as well. You've seen that there's 200 children here today from, from all over Swindon um, and I think that you know, Oakhurst have led the way in, in kind of supporting these initiatives and I think they'll continue to do so. So you know, we, we hope in the next month, um, five to six weeks, every child at Oakhurst will have received this. Um, and to answer your question, I think when, when, this, when, when it does catch on and we spread this word, uh, we, we want the, all the local head teachers far and wide to say, well, why, you know, this, our children should have this as well. They, they, you know, they should have this, you know, twice a year, in my opinion, um, built into this. It, it can be a, a PE replacement. It can be something, a, an initiative that the teachers plan. Um, and yeah, uh, what, why not? And, and not just schools. Um, you know, it, there's lots of local kind of community. Um, businesses and sporting environments where this can be brought in um, and obviously adults it, 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 there, there's no limits to, to, to who should have this you know it's, it's a great feeling as a dad for, you know I've got three children myself um, to, to have that and, and obviously you now know how, how to react in a situation absolutely, like that. yeah uh, absolutely. I, I think everyone, parents out there that wouldn't of course of course and uh, you know it, it's been great I mean working at a school to get the opportunity to do these kind of courses and um, like it does, it, it does make you feel safer and it makes obviously running this camp, you know, we're, we're proud to have a large camp and to have the, the staff that we've got to have that knowledge, it just, it obviously makes our parents feel, feel safer and uh, e even better to have the kids some knowledge, uh, however basic, um, like I said, our, our 11 year olds have walked away today, you know, some, some of them have, have just been outstanding, some of them, you can tell the questions they're asking, uh, the work they're doing with each other. Um, and they're, they're just they're challenging each other all the time and challenging the coaches um, and I, I feel that they've they've taken so much from the day um, and then you bring that down to, to the three four and five year olds who have just been excited by the whole the whole although it's a serious message it's exciting to learn something that's so important yeah. and on a, a frequency point of view you know how, how often presumably you do it every half term camp and summer camp that you have absolutely so, um, so they won't they're not just picking this up today and, and going away and no. being left to it it'll, it'll be no. reinstilled into them absolutely. every time and I think that's, that's sometimes the danger particularly with, with someone like myself where yes we, we have these maybe every three years um, it's not enough it's not enough um, you do forget it you do you know we've all got busy lives and you know it, sometimes when you can leave away from a course you, you enjoy it but it, it, it can leave you the information can leave you so I, I, I believe it should be done a few times a year uh, for all the children um, and these little refreshers there there's no pressure on them there's no you know we're not passing and failing people here we're just giving them the information and you know like like we've we've been taught ourselves it's always better to do something um, than here today uh, than nothing at all so um, that's that's the message we tried to get across today and finally I believe it's been in you know being endorsed by um, the local MP Justin Thomas yeah well. just just he's he's been brilliant in terms of um, you know he's he's talked about this um, previously I know um, he's had his own experiences and um, you know he's certainly uh, behind us uh, as, a, as a supporter of uh, Draycott Sports Camp and certainly this message um, has been a no-brainer. We want to try and educate our children. We're, we're here to do that from a sporting point of view uh, and educate them how, how important it is to be active um, and obviously Justin's always been behind that so for this to, to, to now arrive 
um, this is this is something else that I think the community can get behind. I think it's it's great to have people that you, you know who the local community can listen to. But at the same time, we want to we want to speak to our parents. We want to speak to the, the parents of the children here today and see what they think and see what if they'd like to do it. Um, and, and that's 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 what's most important to me. Because then the, the education can continue at home Absolutely. as well. They know they can. We, we've can, challenged the children. We're not we're not dishing out homework, but we are challenging the children to you know, practice on your mums and dads and practice with your with your siblings. And we want it to take this way. We want this to have a legacy um, that again is, it can take it away through their primary years, through their secondary years, and really have um, that knowledge embedded um, you know, throughout their youth. Really. And ultimately, it, you know, it could be a, a life-saving moment. So it's a uh, you know, fantastic. We hope not. We, so. hope, we hope that, that none of our children or any of us have to have to use these these, these skills and this knowledge. Um, but the reality is that someone will. There's, there's no doubt about it. Someone will have to uh, use it or be around it. And you know, wouldn't it be nice? Sometimes I think people can distance themselves from a situation because they're scared, and that's that's obviously that's natural. But for someone to maybe walk towards. Um, this incident, whatever it may be, is a, is a really brave thing, and we want, you know, we'd love for, for one of our children to, to have that confidence um, to go to that situation, whatever it may be. Well, that's great. Well, yeah, it's great seeing you know, the good work you've been doing today, and it's been yeah, really really interesting well. you know, a few hours we've been here. So, thanks for joining us, and best yeah. of luck with the initiative. Thank you very much. Cheers, Mark. Cheers. Thanks, Thank Steve. You.